And the, the point here is that there are things that we should repent of. Now, I wouldn't tell you you need to repent of any specific sin to be saved. I'm not the Lord. But Jesus told people that. Jesus told people of their specific sins that they needed to repent of to be saved. So let me just end on this point. I believe that there is something for a lost person that they need to repent of to be saved. Now, it could just be their unbelief. It could just be that they are completely wrong in what they believe. They're more than happy to receive the truth and receive the Lord. And they've just been giving, you know, think Cornelius. Amen. There's a good example. Cornelius is a guy whose prayers and alms came up for memorial before God. And God sent Peter to preach to him. And him and his whole house gladly, gladly received the gospel and they got saved. So there's a guy that just needed to change what he believed. But... I also believe that, you know, the, the lady at the well, she had to repent of her lifestyle. The rich young ruler had to repent of his riches, and he didn't do it, by the way. He went away sadly. He wasn't willing to. And so I've heard this term, and I like this term. I believe it's right to be able to say there's like a kingpin sin, or somebody's called it a pharaoh sin. Like it's just that big, major sin that you've got to repent of. You've got to get out of your life, whatever it is. Now, I don't know what it is, but I've met people that have some, what I would call, grievous sin, and they know all the facts, and they've told me straight to my face, I'm not saved, you know, and, and I, I believe them. If you, if you tell me you're not saved, out of the abundance of the heart of the mouth speaking, I'm going to believe you. But these are people, and I've not asked them, and I've not followed them around, but I would suspect that there's something in their life that they're not willing to repent of. They're the rich young ruler who's wanting to do it his way, wanting to come to the Lord his way, and not willing to do it God's way. Well, let me assure you, nobody gets saved on their terms. You're going to get saved on God's terms. Amen? You're not going to do it against your will. You're going to have to come, but you've got to do it on God's terms.